Donna Pellew, <laughs> here we are again, three okay. years on. I'm getting, I'm getting the most awful sense of deja vu. <laughs> Donna stood on our ticket three years ago, and I was grateful then as now, but with one crucial difference. Donna's in the number two position for Group H, and I think we have a fighting chance of getting you onto council. So th thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for being part of the team. Tell us a bit about yourself and the businesses. Well, I own Richmond Courage on Florist and Unique Floral Events. I run Unique Floral Events for about 20 years, showing my age. Um, Richmond Courage on Florist, I worked here 27 years ago and I bought it five years ago. Um, so you actually came back to the business that you worked it's at. It's like home. When you were young. Yes. And then took on the business. Yes. What a great story. Yes. We could get, yeah. I even stand in the very same spot out the back. It's just, it's home. <laughs> it's home. Yeah. And have all kinds of touch points with the community when they're getting married or dispatching a loved one. Yeah. Or, we, yeah. Um, deaths, births, um, nursing homes. Um, we do a lot of hampers for a local business. Every time you buy a house, they give you one of those. Um, so we work well. It must be really hard to have kept a business like this open through COVID. Has it been okay? Between COVID and floods, the floods hit us hard as well. Um, not being able to open, um, even if I can get here, there's not a lot of people in the street. Look, I, I couldn't be prouder to have a woman on the ticket. I couldn't be prouder to have somebody in the number two position that's got a fighting chance of getting onto council and having somebody with your local connections and business expertise. Uh, Donna, what's your opinion about Hawkesbury Council and what represents a, a good council? Council can get things done rather than take three, four years to make a decision and just get things done, really. Mm -hmm. After watching the few, last few um, council meetings when they're streamed live, the, the fact that they can't make a decision, I have a hard time dealing with. What's been your opinion about the tone of the current council that's been seated for the last three years? How's it? Well, basically, they don't get along, mm -hmm. really. It's dominated. Certainly time for a change. Definitely. Yes, definitely need, you know, more independence, basically. I yeah. would love to see a council full of independence. Well, as most people know, I mean, I was elected as a Liberal in 2016, but I've earned far more praise and far more encouragement since I found my voice and yes. my independence. And I think independence offer more honest, more connected, more competent, more capable government. And I think the current major party candidates just have, have let the community down. Yes, Because definitely. they've been so inwardly focused mm -hmm. with drama of one sort or another. Group H is our ticket of independence for the coming council elections. Please consider your vote very carefully. Pre-polls open on the 7th of September. Polling day is on the 14th. But I think a record number of people are going to be casting their vote early. And there's no reason why you shouldn't. Nobody polices if you've got a reason to vote early. Come to Richmond School of Arts or Windsor Library uh, from the 7th on. Cast your vote early. Get it out of the way. Group H, Hawkesbury Independence. Independent voices, good government. Thanks for watching.